You are fulfilling your purpose here on earth just by being here. There will never be another you. You are worthy of so much more. Welcome to another episode of Higher Education, where we educate ourselves on all the ways in which we may remain aligned with our higher selves. And today we are going to be talking about feelings of unworthiness. Now, I for one am no stranger to feelings of unworthiness. For the majority of my life, I have been ruled by feelings of unworthiness. And now, the antidote to feelings of unworthiness is our energy. Our energy is our form of currency. And where we invest our energy is where we are investing our inherent worth and our value. So we want to make sure that we are investing in our own worth. If we are investing outside of us, that that investment is returning to us. I apologize in advance for any planes that are flying overhead and any other sounds. I live in Los Angeles, so there are going to be some city noises. So when we talk about investing our energy, we want to make sure that everything that we do, every interaction that we have with others, and the habits that we implement in our lives, along with the words that we speak to ourselves, all align with our inherent worth that is endless and limitless but we can tend to have feelings of unworthiness when those things do not align with our higher selves one way that feelings of unworthiness can arise and manifest in our life is through jealousy I, for one, have experienced feelings of jealousy arise. And when we have feelings of jealousy that come up, these feelings are telling us that we have forgotten our inherent worthiness. And we are looking at someone else as if they are more worthy in some way. He liked her picture? She's not even that pretty. And so the way to heal this and observe it in a way that we don't attach to that feeling of jealousy and allow that feeling of jealousy to inform us of our inadequacy. We have to then invest in ourselves with our energy. And the way that we invest in ourselves when feelings of jealousy arise is we affirm to ourselves how worthy how deserving we already are. And I actually had a feeling of jealousy arise recently. And when it came up, I made sure to affirm to myself of the inherently worthy being that I am. And I wrote down this affirmation that has been helping me since I wrote this down. 
And this affirmation is, I allow myself to feel this way and accept myself as I am. So whenever a feeling of jealousy arises, instead of attaching to this and thinking that this is all that you are worth, observe this feeling of jealousy and affirm to yourself that you are not this feeling of jealousy. You allow yourself to feel this feeling of jealousy and you still accept yourself as you are. And when we do that, we are investing in the bank of ourselves and raising our sense of self-worth and not letting the feeling of jealousy lower our sense of self-worth. Another way feelings of unworthiness can arise in our life is by comparison. Much like jealousy, we can compare our bodies, compare our minds, our faces, what we have to others. And when we tend to compare ourselves, we are spotting out the differences of what someone either looks like or what someone has and what we don't have and what we don't look like. She has such big boobs. When those feelings of comparison or the thoughts of comparison arise, we can allow that to be as it is. Observe this. And instead of noticing the differences and thinking that it makes you inadequate or unworthy in any way, we can look at the differences of others as a way to love ourselves even more. We can see what other people have that we don't as a way to show us just how unique and one of one that we are because there is only one of you. Every single person in this world is going to be different than you because there is only one you. And so when we observe the thoughts of comparison, we can then invest in ourselves by reminding us that there will never be another you. And everything that you desire to do in this world, you are worthy of it and capable of it because no one can do it like you. The third feeling of unworthiness that can arise is perfectionism. When we tend to want to make everything perfect, I need to get perfect grades. I need to be perfect in work. I need to look perfect. My house needs to be perfectly clean. There needs to be no mistakes, no flaws. But perfectionism is a fantasy. We can reach for perfectionism all we want and we will be grasping at nothing because in this life, nothing is our ideal perfect. And when we want things to look a certain way, it can be because we don't feel worthy if it isn't this way. If I don't get good grades, if I'm not perfect in my work, if I don't look perfect, 
then I am not worthy of acceptance. I am not worthy of love. Ugh, I need a filter. So when we have these feelings of perfectionism that come up, instead of attaching and therefore carrying out actions to make that perfectionism happen, we can observe this and we can invest in our sense of self-worth by knowing that the flaws, the mistakes, even the pain and the ugliness of life is inherently perfect as it is because it exists in our world. We cannot deny the perfection of something that is here, that is present in this life, in this universe. Although it may not be favorable, although it may not be something that we desire, it is inherently perfect as it is, as are you, in everything that you do. And if you do make a mistake, if it isn't an A++, does that make you any less worthy? When we look at a baby, a crying, pooping baby, that needs to be taken care of. That baby is perfect as it is. Children with disabilities are perfect as they are. Scars, hurt, and pain, although doesn't feel good, is there to teach us how to feel love, how to feel peace. This life is all about contrast. Without the bad, we wouldn't know what the good feels like. Without the scars, we wouldn't know how to reach healing when feelings of perfectionism arise. We can inform ourselves of the perfect beings that we are and although we are all in the process of healing and we all need work, it doesn't mean that we aren't where we are supposed to be because we are. And you are fulfilling your purpose here on earth just by being here. For my next feeling of unworthiness, that is laziness. Now, I think that laziness is labeled wrong in our world. We think that we are lazy just because we don't feel like doing anything. But that's different. That's rest. If you need rest, you can take rest. But when you begin to not take care of yourself or not take care of your responsibilities and we label it as laziness, it is actually showing us that we don't think that we are worthy of being taken care of. We don't think that we are worthy of getting the things done that we need to get done. So when we think that we are lazy, the way that we combat this is by investing in ourselves. And we do that by affirming to ourselves that we are worthy of getting these things done. We are worthy of being taken care of properly. Just as that child is worthy of being taken care of without having to do anything, you 
are worthy of being taken care of. You are worthy of everything being done that you need to get done. And despite the feelings of not wanting to do it, your higher self will invest, create the energy that you need to bring you everything that you need in this moment. For my last feeling of unworthiness that can arise in our lives, this can manifest as having negative people and negative habits rule your days. The people that we have in our lives. If interacting with them and after being around them, you don't feel uplifted, positive, supported, loved, and accepted as you are. Along with the habits that we have on a daily basis, if these habits are negative and don't show us that we truly care for ourselves by way of feeling uplifted, cared for, and nurtured afterwards, these people and these habits in which are negative can tell us that we may not feel worthy of finding people that are uplifting and that truly care for you. We may not feel worthy enough to implement healthy habits that are for our highest good because the people that we have in our lives and the habits that we have on a daily basis, although may be comfortable because it is familiar, ultimately may not be for our highest good. And usually what is comfortable is dangerous because it is in our comfort zones we stay the same. It is in our comfort zones where negativity can remain in our lives only for the sake of comfort. But when we step outside of what's comfortable and embody what is inherently good and inherently worthy of us, people that didn't have our best interest at heart, that may have a hidden agenda, that may be negative, are removed from your life. It could be your partner. It could be your best friend. Although it may be comfortable, it sometimes is not good for your higher self. And this also goes with the habits that we have. Negative habits are something that we repeat time and time again because it's what we know, because it's familiar and comfortable to us. But when we step outside of what's comfortable, we start to bring in what we truly deserve because it may be unfamiliar and this is a really loud plane. I don't know what kind of jet that is. <laughs> I don't know. Is that like a 440 or something? I don't know the plane numbers. But that one's loud. That one's got a big engine, I think. <laughs> but when we start to step outside of what is comfortable to us, the familiar habits that we have each day. We really start to bring in everything that we deserve. So when we notice that the people that we hang around 
aren't making us feel good. And the habits that we have don't make us feel good. We affirm to ourselves how worthy we are and that we are deserving of so much more. And then we invest in ourselves with our currency of energy. So when you stop hanging out with others to start to invest in yourself, your sense of self-worth rises because what you allow in your life is only of the highest worth. When you stop habits that have been bringing you down, your sense of self-worth skyrockets because you don't even allow yourself to negate your inherent self-worth. You start to prioritize yourself in a way that you begin to build your sense of self that is untouchable so that any person that enters your life will bring you the positivity and the love and the acceptance because that is what you are already giving yourself and that is the only thing that you will allow in your life. So the more that we invest in ourselves, observe the negativity the feelings of jealousy and comparison, perfectionism, laziness, negative people, toxic habits. Instead of attaching to these things, may we understand that these are all inherent. As human beings, these feelings will arise. But in every way, may we remind ourselves to affirm how loving, deserving, and accepting we already are as we are. We don't need to change anything about us for us to be worthy. All we need to do is align our habits, our actions, and the attachments that we have to our thoughts and feelings throughout the day to remain aligned with our higher selves, to keep our sense of self-worth what it naturally is, which is abundant and prosperous and eternal. I watched something the other day and I really liked what this woman said about our worthiness. And so I want to share two of the questions that she asked. And I will make sure to link this talk in the description below. But she asks, what would you find the courage to do? If you knew you were worthy. And see, courage has nothing to do with comfort. Courage has everything to do with your inherent worth. So everything that you desire to do, know that you are worthy of it already not because it's going to be comfortable or easy, but because you already have the courage within you to do it. And all you need to do is remind yourself of it. And the next question, she says, what would you stop doing if you knew you were already worthy? And I love this one because it goes back to the people and the habits. What would you look at yourself 
and be honest and say, we need to stop doing this because you are worthy of so much more. And so thank you all for watching and I hope that you like this video. Please leave a comment. Let me know if you have been feeling unworthy at all in your life. And if you need anyone to affirm to you of everything that you are, I would love to chat with you all. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Bye, guys. All right, that's a wrap. <laughs> Let's wrap it up.